Let's go to Eric, who joins us in Savannah, Georgia. Eric, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Good afternoon, Kim. How are you? Ken, how are you? I am living the dream, Eric. How can I help today? So I'm currently working in my dream job with my dream company, Mm -hmm. but not in the city, not in my dream city. Uh, I'm scared to leave. Mm. Wanted to get your thoughts. What are you scared of specifically? Um, leaving the potentially having to leave the company and the job. No, it's deeper than that. That what that's the action. Leaving the company and the job because you're not in the location you want to be in. You said it was the dream job, not the dream location. Did I hear that correctly? Right. Okay. Yes, sir. So you when you say to me, Ken, I'm afraid of leaving the job, no, that's the action that you would take. You're afraid of the result. What's the result you're afraid of? I guess Say life that. could change. Okay, keep going. It's like this is a process. Drastically from yes, changing uh, drastically from what my dream job and company has you know given to me thus far. Okay. So, what does that look like? Less money? Potentially, yes. Less money, less freedom. Um, I work in a field-based role, so, you know, pretty autonomous. Um, You know, speak to my manager once a month and things like that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that's the only job like that in the country? That offers? Yeah. Do you think it's possible that you can find a job very similar to that, those... Uh, I guess we're going to call those perks, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. Is there work like that where you want to move? Uh, yes, I believe so. I've, you know, I've looked, I'm in the medical industry, so I've looked at competitors and things like that. But it also seems that my current employer boasts many accolades for many years of great places to work. And um, when mm-hmm. I look at, you know, the Indeed or Glassdoor websites, the ratings for the other companies' approvals of CEOs seems to be much lower mm. than the one that I'm currently with now. Got it. Well, the good news is you're in your dream job, yes? Yes, sir. So we can find similar work. Are the circumstances going to be exactly the same um, when you look at all these ratings and things like that? Maybe, maybe not. I guess this gets down to what really matters most to you why do you want to move locations what's so special about this city you want to move to closer to family uh move to where i'm currently at now away from family i was in a long distance relationship my wife was able my girlfriend at the time she relocated with me to the savannah area Mm -hmm. we were able to get married um very thankful for that forever thankful for that but she lives um, close to where I'm from as well. Where? So we're both wanting to get uh, Tennessee, East Tennessee. So she's there now? No, sir. No, sir. She's in Savannah with me. Her oh. family's from the same hometown as me. Okay. Well, so you don't have a remote opportunity here, correct? Current, not with my company right now, correct. Yeah, so here's the deal, man. I totally see where this is, and I, it makes sense. I, I just think that you have to say... Is the pull to get back to East Tennessee, is is it something that we've got to move on right now? Or what factors can we change that may not exist now to where eventually, and I'm just saying two, three years from now, we get back there? Or mm-hmm. is it something where both of you are going, you know what, this is a risk that we should take because you're afraid that you're going to walk out of your dream job and not find something that's that's very similar. And I want to encourage you that you may not have all the same environmental things that your current company gives you, but the work itself, you can find jobs that allow you to fill that role that you're in. And Correct. and and, yeah. and so I'm not worried about that. I also think that you, if you look smart enough and long enough and you're patient enough and not let East Tennessee drive you into a dumb decision dumb being stepping out of a really great situation into a mediocre situation just to get us back to East Tennessee, uh, then I think you can find something. And I think that that becomes your goal. Hey, we're not going to East Tennessee until I replace my job 
that allows me to be in the role I was created to be in, which is what makes it the dream job anyway. It's really the dream job because you are really good at what you do, yes? Yes. You really love the work itself, don't you? Yes, sir. And you're and you and you connect to the result. It's missional to you. Correct. Yeah, I love, you know, working with my customers and developing right. The relationships and everything like that. Yeah. So that's why you listen to the program. For some reason, you you have lots of reasons you listen to the program, but you agree, you understand that the reason we look to what we do best and what we love to do most and the results that matter most is so that we figure out the role we're supposed to fill. A role is not job title. Role is this is what I'm doing in the workplace. And then there are multiple jobs that will allow us to fill the role, the contribution. And that's when you're in your sweet spot. Okay. Right. So I would tell you that that's all you have to focus on is patience. And that will allow you to find something that you go, okay, we found it. Now we can go to East Tennessee. Now, listen, if, if you want to play the odds and go, well, we're going to go to East Tennessee and just go wherever we can go to just kind of get us close to what we were making or whatever, 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 and we feel so good that we're back close to, to our family that I'll put up with the frustration of trying to find the right thing once I get there, great. I don't have a problem with it. I'm just not wired that way. But I don't think that it's wrong. Um, I just am right. never a fan of making a family decision – um, that affects my long-term place in this, in this world. So, um, you've identified the fear. We had you specifically put it out there. I hope we have made the fear look silly. It's silly to think that you can't find another dream job like what you're doing now in other places. Um, I guess it's possible that companies don't exist in East Tennessee to do what you want to do. But I think you've already figured out that they do, right? Yes, sir. Then get after that. And then and, uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I actually I want to know what you think. I, no, I mean, hearing you talk it out and actually hearing, you know, hearing it, 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 it does. It makes me start thinking that it's impatience that's driving my fear. It's, it's me, you know, when I try to look in the future, if I don't see that exact route to where I want to be doing what I want to do with the company that I'm doing, I think that's when I get scared. Instead of, you know, taking a step back and, you know, trying to be more logical and patient uh, about the process. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. And I'm so glad we've talked about it because now you see how fear is a liar. You've heard me say that on the show before, but now you see it, don't you? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Your fear is lying to you. And and so if you allow fear to stay in your head and you're going to believe that lie, eventually that lie said long enough becomes truth. And so that's the danger of allowing fear to rattle in there. And I appreciate you calling in because this is big, man. Listen, I'm excited. I do believe your future is in East Tennessee, and I think you can get it there. Be patient enough so that's the right move. Then you're super happy on all fronts. And uh, that's just a function of gutting it out long enough to find it. You're going to get there, Eric. I promise.